Every so often, it's time for a change. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 actors who broke typecasting. It's simple, we uh, kill the Batman. For this list, we're looking at the performances that changed the way we perceived an actor who had previously been mostly cast in certain types of roles. It's an entirely different kind of flying, altogether. It's, it's an, an entirely, entirely different, different kind, kind of flying. flying. Number 10, Adam Sandler, Punch Drunk Love. I'm just calling you, I'm standing in my hotel room. Yeah? Yeah, I, 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 I'm just, I'm here on my business trip. During the 90s, after years on SNL and a bevy of popular funny films, Adam Sandler was one of the most renowned comedy figures in the world. Just tap it in. Just tap it in. Give it a little tappy. For an oftentimes immature and hilarious actor, the announcement that he was going to give drama a shot seemed to come out of nowhere. Why are you wearing a suit? I bought one. I thought it would be nice to get dressed for work, and I'm not exactly sure why. But under the guidance of the immensely talented director, Paul Thomas Anderson, Sandler managed to anchor a film with a performance unlike anything he'd done before or since. Okay, and I have to get more pudding for this trip to Hawaii. As I just said that out loud, I realize it sounded a little strange, but it's not. So would you like to come with me? He was even nominated for a Best Actor Golden Globe for his role. I have a love in my life. It makes me stronger than anything you can imagine. I would say that's that mattress, man. Number nine, Leslie Nielsen, Airplane. This is the captain, what am I? For anyone below a certain age, it's hard to imagine the late Mr. Nielsen as anything but an obvious choice for any comedy casting director. But that wasn't always the case. Running an unstable ship at full ahead is dangerous. I'm sure. Especially one as old as this. I'm sure I don't have to remind you of my legal right to have you relieved of command. For about 25 years between the 1950s and 1970s, Leslie was a steadily employed actor predominantly in dramatic roles and more serious films. Oh my God. However, with this one perfectly absurd performance, the perception of this talented actor was forever altered and the legacy of laughs was forever cemented. Surely you can't be serious. I am serious. And don't call me Shirley. Number eight, Henry Fonda, once Upon a Time in the West. The patriarch of the highly respected Fonda acting dynasty, Henry originally built his career as the heroic everyman, always primed to fight for what was right in the world. It's not easy to raise my hand and send a boy off to die without talking about it first. That's why it took so many people by surprise when he tackled this role, as a man tasked with simply intimidating another man off the only land with water, but instead opts to slaughter the landowner and his family. The image of the man who played the lone holdout heroic juror from 12 Angry Men, killing three children, forever altered the way he was seen by audiences everywhere. But actually those two witnesses were the entire case for the prosecution. Supposing they're wrong. What do you mean, supposing they're wrong? What's the point of having witnesses at all? Number seven, Jonah Hill, Moneyball. This better work. I'm just kidding you. An actor who was more likely to be nominated for a Teen Choice or MTV Movie Award than an Oscar before the 2010s, Jonah Hill was best known as the vulgar and funny Seth from Superbad. By the time college rolls around, I'll be like the Iron Chef of Pound and Vaj. That is, until he was tapped for this role in the 2011 biographical sports drama. So what do you do? Mostly player analysis right now. Cast as an economics expert who changes the way that baseball teams are put together through his expertise and knowledge, Moneyball depended on Hill's untested ability to be taken seriously. Okay, so Billy says he'll pay for Rincon himself, but when he sells him for more money next year, he's keeping the profit. Pulling it off to such a degree that it earned him an Oscar nod, he turned out to be worth the gamble. You've been a huge part of this team, but sometimes you have to make decisions that are best for the team. I'm sure you can understand that. Number six. Heath Ledger, The Dark Knight. I'm gonna make this pencil disappear. Ta -da! It's, it's gone. The Joker is arguably one of the most recognizable and acclaimed villains in modern pop culture. Now I'm always smiling. <coughs> A little fight in you. I like that. Previously brought to the big screen by Hollywood heavyweight Jack Nicholson, anyone assigned to the challenging role certainly has big shoes to fill. 
So when they cast the guy who sang in the bleachers in some 90s comedy, a lot of fans were shocked and appalled. Even though he'd given respected performances in films like The Lords of Dogtown, they tense easily, okay? And Brokeback Mountain, Our damn horse spooked and the mules took off and scattered food everywhere. Prior to The Dark Knight, few thought he'd be up to the task. Why so serious? Outperforming even the highest expectations, Heath gave one of the most legendary performances in film history and earned a posthumous Oscar to boot. I know the truth. There's no going back. You've changed things. Forever. Number five, Jim Carrey, the number 23. 914. 14 plus 9 is? 23. We married October 13th. 1013. 23. When Jim Carrey's first famous leading role involved a sequence where he literally talked out of his ass, it set a precedent for the types of roles he was offered and given thereafter. Oh, oh, oh now, Ace, please, man, please. What's the matter, Emilio? Afraid I'll make a stink? In the years since then, he's attempted to fight that perception with more and more dramatic roles, including acclaimed performances in The Truman Show, Man on the Moon, and Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind. There's someone here. Still, the idea that he was the guy who starred in outrageous comedies that took advantage of his rubber-faced antics persisted. For many, it took him starring in this psychological thriller as a man struggling with dreams of murder to truly break the mold that he'd created. I want you to leave, Egg. You need to leave before... Before what? Before you kill me? Number four. Joe Pesci, Home Alone. Going on vacation? Where you going? In many of Joe Pesci's most famous film roles, he is the most dangerous and feared person on screen, despite his small stature. Come on, don't be like that. What do you mean, don't be like that? It takes an actor who's capable of tapping into raw anger and rage that few of us can understand to be able to pull off that successfully. <laughs> For the same actor to be able to make a fool of himself for the delight and laughter of families worldwide without missing a beat is truly impressive. Open the door! Ah! Shoot! Jump! 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 What? In the year 1990, to give two performances, one playing into his previously constructed image and one totally against it to create two lasting pieces of art is nothing short of amazing. Number three, Robin Williams, One Hour Photo. Hello! <laughs> a lot of actors who've been at their craft for a long time and have earned the respect of their peers spend the latter years of their career coasting on the fame and taking easy roles that line their wallets. I don't know, this was scared the children, do they so? I don't know, maybe this was too much for them. I think we have to go to the next level. Fortunately for art and film fans, Robin Williams was not one of those people. Look at me, son. It's not your fault choosing to stretch his acting muscles in dark new ways. His performance as a photo clinic employee with a dangerous obsession was so organic and real that we wish he'd given the genre a try much earlier. Pretend, this is all pretend. I'm doing it, stop yelling at me. I'm not doing it to me. This. <laughs> Number two, Tom Cruise, Collateral. Adored by some and reviled by others, Tom Cruise spent most of his career carefully cultivating a resume of highly respected performances and a squeaky clean image that made many respect him. You want answers? I think I'm entitled. You want answers! I want the truth! You can't handle the truth! Cruise has played against that image many times. For example, as the villainous yet charming Lestat in Interview with a Vampire. I've come to answer your prayers. And the vulgar and over-the-top Les Grossman in Tropic Thunder. But it's as Vincent in this neo-noir crime thriller that he truly stands out. As a remorseless contract killer who makes no attempt to be likable, this role had critics raving and moviegoers seeing him in an all-new light. Now we gotta make the best of it. Improvise, adapt to the environment, Darwin, shit happens, I Ching, whatever, man, we gotta roll with it. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Say my name. Eisenberg. You're goddamn right. Somehow the bastard is still alive, still staring at me. Not even when I grab the saw and finish the job. Who are you? I'm Joe Cooper. 
Joe Cooper. You scared me to death. Number one, Tom Hanks, Philadelphia. I think I need, I need to go to the hospital. If there is any actor in the history of cinema that is a stronger argument against typecasting than Tom Hanks, we really can't think who that would be. How are you? What happened to your face? I have AIDS. Previously known as a leading man in classic comedies, it was this dramatic role that decided his career path thereafter. I am divine. I am oblivion. The first time he earned an Oscar, his performance as a gay man afflicted with AIDS and the discrimination he felt as a result not only changed how he was seen, but how the disease that was ravaging the world was to be seen as well. Miguel. I'm ready. Do you agree with our list? These are hard moves to explain to people. Which role do you think most broke an actor out of typecasting? For more perception-breaking top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. It's okay. I will. Oh, thanks. Okay.